Hello and welcome back to another bad comic review. Today I want to introduce you to Jonathan Drew, better known as Codename Assassin. This is first issue special number 11 with Codename Assassin. And this is an interesting character actually. He's not much of an assassin since he uses tranquilizer darts. Jonathan Drew is this new superhero from, well, new as of 1976. <laughs> And he has telekinetic and other psychic powers. Now this is actually a pretty interesting character. I, I don't recall ever having read anything about Codename Assassin. I think there may have been a very short-lived series with him, like a couple issues. But other than that, um, this is the only issue I can verify that I've seen him in. But he's a pretty interesting character. He's got pretty high athletics and reflexes. And he uh, busts up the mob because this guy they call Mob Master, who... Um, has a really stupid name, but uh, they call him Mob Master once, and I think that's a much cooler name than his, his real name. But yeah, so Jonathan was an ordinary guy. His parents died when he was very young, and his sister basically raised him. But then she was killed by this mobster, Mob Master. The, yeah, the guy's name is Victor Grumman, so pretty pretty awful name and when his sister was killed he swore vengeance so because he was in this experiment he was able to uh kill or destroy the vehicle of the guys uh that killed his sister he decided to ma wage a one-man war on the mob master as uh codename assassin well assassin's costume is actually kind of cool it reminds me a little bit of death strokes but this may predate Deathstroke I'm not entirely sure but I kind of dig his outfit I think he should be more of an actual assassin and less of like a tranquilizer dart we don't kill nonsense sort of thing this guy would be more vigilante than that so anyway uh mom master hires the snake and powerhouse and powerhouse is just this brick who's a big muscular guy looks kind of fat and he's immune to electricity and the snake is just some wiry super athletic type guy well we don't really see like they have a really cool fight with with some mobsters men's uh but that's about it otherwise it's flashback and introduction i think the character actually has a lot of potential if he was done right but the way they show his powers being used where he kind of floats across water and stuff looks really dippy like the cover image would be cool if it wasn't for those weird wave things on the sides to represent his psychic powers i think that looks really stupid but otherwise, I thought the character had potential. It's, it's The book itself is kind of dated, and the way they talk, the way people are dressed is very 70s. But the concept behind the character is actually pretty cool, and I'm kind of surprised DC doesn't use him more. He would make a really cool assassin character, and he's got some pretty cool powers, but too many people seem to know about his secret identity. I would whittle that down a little bit. But this is definitely a character I'd be interested in seeing more of because his powers are pretty cool. And he would make a really good assassin, and he is a, on the good guy team, so he would actually be a pretty cool character to drop in as a... Uh, somebody that is more of a punisher type character or like vigilante but they haven't done much with any of those characters uh they've gotten a little further away from characters like this at dc and a little more pc and this is definitely not a pc type character and trying to force it into that mold i think hurts the character development potential this character though does have a lot of potential and i, I would like to see him in a more punisher type role and i, I think that that one is somebody that could be revived as an interesting character that could have a longevity as far as uh its own series maybe set in its own little universe kind of thing as far as the broader dc universe i don't think they're going to bring back a character like this anytime soon but yeah overall the art's pretty good uh the story needed some work i think it's really dated but it is by jerry conway and steve skeets i don't know who steve skeets is with art by the Renando Bro Studio and Al Milgram is labeled as embellisher. But the art's okay. Uh, the story's good. I just think it should have been more of a Punisher type character. And a little less of the foo-foo no-kill stuff. But that's my take on it. Be sure and check it out if you're interested. I, I like the character concept. I think it could be reworked into a slightly more violent, more adult-themed comic. But that's my take. And as always, thank you for listening. And hopefully we'll see you on the next episode.